And what I got here is an old vintage K banjo. Um, is what I picked up at that antique shop. It's got an old banjo lesson book in it. See there? That's dated. This was 50 cents. And it's dated uh, 1955. I'm guessing this banjo here is as old as that. This is a K. It is admittedly a cheap banjo. But, and, it's, and to be honest with you, it's almost exactly like the first banjo I ever had. The only difference between this one and that one is that one was wore out, the neck was warped, and instead of saying K, it said true tone or true value or something like that. But uh, other than that, it's made exactly the same. This has an old two-piece bridge with the, has the, the legs that go up and down as well as the, the body that goes across. It has a steel rod in the back. It has a little screw right here to adjust the neck, which I might do a little adjusting on it. I'm willing to bet these strings ain't been changed since 55. Got a rattly sort of sound.
Got all the original hardware on it. Got all the nuts, bolts, screws. Uh, I'm guessing that's the original head. It's one of them, uh, one of them plastic heads with the uh, kind of rough. What do they call that frosted. It's a frosted plastic head. See, turning this screw may. Change the angle of that neck a little bit. Or it may not. Maybe you have to loosen the bolt. Probably do have to loosen the nut here for that to work. This is the cheapest of pots. It's an old pressed, pressed wood pot. Got quite a rough rattling noise. By the way, it's an open back. A lot of these would have had the uh, tone ring thing on them, and this one came, apparently, because it fits the case perfectly, came from the store as an open back banjo in 55, which is kind of interesting to me. Uh, a lot of old banjos that you find, because they were so popular, them banjos with the resonators, they all came with them. It's nice to know that this one didn't in 55. 55 was probably a time when the banjos, you know, the banjos had gone through the transition, but, uh, you know, from Earl Scruggs having you know, introduced everybody to cloth, to three-finger picking and all, but uh, maybe this was a leftover from the old days of open-back banjos. Could have been actually made that far back. I some other, there's some other paperwork in here, I think. I don't know what it says. Get it out. Oh, this is how to tighten the head on your banjo. How to adjust the fist string peg. And it's all, it's hand, it's hand typed. A piece of paper. Oh, the joy. This book was copyrighted in 1941. It was originally copyrighted in 1922 by the William J. Smith Music Company. Recopyrighted in 41, international copyright secured, original rewrite in 49, uh, and the last copyright was in 55, uh, made in the U.S. of A. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got Skip to Malou, we got on top of Old Smokey, we got Billy Boy, oh where have you been? It's got these old-fashioned pictures. It's these old-fashioned pictures of a man, black and white man. He's playing that banjo. Oh, the joy. Yes, he is. And he's playing an open-back banjo, too. At least in that picture. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How to tune without aid of a piano tuner. See right there. Shows one of them little air hearts you used to blow into. That back before they electronified sound so that you could look at it on a battery powered instrument. Mm. The rudiments of music. Students, it's necessary that students should be acquainted with the duration of musical notation. The relative value of notes is best shown by the following arrangements. Notes are divided into bars by single or double lines drawn across the stage. One line is placed after each bar. See, this is valuable information that you really don't need to know right there. Sharps and flats and naturals. See, all that's information you don't need to know for playing a banjo. But, 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 that don't matter. Let's see here now. Uh, this is not written in tablature, which... Uh, Tablature is when they wrote music and they showed you what strings to hit with what fingers, like with a three-finger picking style. And that stuff didn't come along until after Earl Scruggs. Now keep in mind, this book was originally copyrighted, what was it, 20s, 30s, 40s, somewhere along in there? So when this book was written, people weren't playing Scruggs style because Scruggs, Earl Scruggs hadn't invented it yet. It does show the chords and such. 
That's a little treasure right there. I tell you folks, it sure is. I like this whole thing, the whole thing. The old banjo, the nice original tail paste piece, the, the neck, which is unmodified and poorly made as they would have been, being made by the K Company in 50s, 55. You can see the grinder marks on the neck right there from where they was, whoever worked this didn't do a real spiffy job, but uh, he's getting paid by the hour, and they wasn't playing them to do high quality work. My fingernail's a little too long. They play better if I shorten them up because it's hard to hit the strings with my fingernails in the way, but I'll just, I'll just rough out a little song anyway. <laughs> Also notice there's no marks on the head. Now if you play scrub style, your head, this, this surface is going to be all dirtied up and scratched off here. If you play claw hammer, it's going to have that here. This has no marks on the head whatsoever, which means that this banjo has never really been played. Just think about it, this banjo is probably made around 55-ish. It could have been 56, could have been 60, but a long time ago. Never been played. Spotless head, almost spotless. Let me go get a fingernail clipper. I'll clip off some of these long fingernail claws I got. And then we'll see if we can play that a little better. Charlie, you stay right there. Oh yeah, I forgot. I need my crush. Yeah, I forgot all about my leg. So I went to get up. Dang. Ouch. I'm just going to leave y'all running. It's easier to be cutting you off and getting you going again. Right back. If your fingernail is real long and you go to fret the frets, they'll dig into your fretboard. Instead of having your fingers mash the strings, and uh, makes you not be able to play good. Plus, they get in the way of my other hand when I'm playing the strings. I play it with the back of my fingernails if they're too long. They get in the way. Now, some people lengthen their fingernails. I know a guy that fiberglasses his fingernails to make them longer, and he plays them like he's playing with the, the back, the back leg pick or something. I don't do that. I play mine with short fingernails and I play them with, I don't play them with no picks. I don't believe in picks. I believe picks are a tool of the devil. I believe they'll lead you astray, cause your teeth to fall out and get you cancer. So I advise people to play them with fingernail picks to cut it out while they're still young enough to not suffer the ill effects on into their old age. Cause once you get old, you've been playing with finger picks. That's done had a bad effect on you, you go insane. That's why there's so many crazy old banjo pitchers in the world, because they've been lost their minds from playing the finger picks all in the years. People don't realize the dangers of playing scrub style banjo with finger picks. I'm just saying that. That's much better. Much better. Thank you. 
got a good crispy sound. That's what I call that. It's a good crispy sound. And it's got that chop, chop, chop sound when, you, when, your fingers, when your fingers hit that chop, 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 chop sound, which you get with some banjos, which I like. That's the sound I like here. Uh, these old rusty strings, uh, I say rusty. Now, they've been in that case. They probably, they may not actually be terribly rusty, even though they're very old. Uh, yeah, but uh, them old strings contribute to that a lot, too. It's good little lightweight banjo. This would be an easy banjo to carry around. And that appears to be just right straight, which is awesome. And a little bit unusual for a banjo of this age. play too much of that song right there because that's copyrighted so we don't go any further than that okay we'll just stop right there
much music they put in this banjo in 1955 and it's never been played yet. Do you realize that there is a whole host of unheard music in this banjo for me to unloosen and set free? <laughs>